right. Three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Today I have special guests with us. I have Lynn and Neil from Massachusetts to talk about how they made a special uh, gift of a commission painting for their son and their new daughter-in-law. Um, I would like them to share a little bit about who they are and their background. So Neil and Lynn, can you introduce yourself? Right. Here you go. Yeah, okay. <laughs> sure. So I'm Neil. Uh, this is Lynn. I'll let her talk about herself in a minute. <laughs> um, yeah, as Kate said, that we're live in Massachusetts. Um, we have two kids. Um, the painting that we did, like Kate said, we did it as a gift for our son and in his uh, and his wife. Um, I wouldn't say that we're necessarily collectors. Never really thought of ourselves in that way before. We just kind of knew that based off of what their Kind of backgrounds are being at their house and not too long ago it just kind of came to us that eh, maybe maybe it's something we wanted to try so that we're definitely novices when it comes to the whole collecting side of things fantastic yeah you take all the good stuff <laughs> you, you told me to go first <laughs> that's the way it works so <laughs> so i'm lynn uh, the better half, I guess, of the Fletcher household. Um, and like we said, we commissioned this um, beautiful behind, painting behind us for our son and daughter-in-law, who I guess they're, um, they truly just love art, all different kinds of art. And when we saw everything that you do, just um, the way you approach things, it just makes us feel real happy. So we figured to reach out for you to do something for them so they can be happy also, if that makes any sense. I know, kind of cheesy, but very true. So I think it's the best kind of cheese. <clears throat> I mean, really, yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. I just noticed the koi in the background behind you. Well, yes. There's a, <laughs> surprise, there's another painting. And <laughs> I figured they were a good offset. We've got water, sky, mountain. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, a little, a little plug. This painting is available by Kate Wilson. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'll <edit this> <laughs> or leave it in. It'll be, leave it in. It'll be great. It'll be great. Um, so thank you for introducing yourselves. And Lynn, you didn't do such a bad job considering you felt that Neil took all the good stuff. You got a couple of digs. You in. told me to go. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our life. It's awesome. It's so good. So fantastic. So I would love to learn about you two. You went to your son and daughter-in-law's house and they love art. But you also seem to have a connection with color. And um, I guess color is a good way to look at it. When I worked with you on this commission, you were not afraid of color. And I'm wondering how color factors into your lives. It's hmm. an interesting question. I never really thought of how color enters into our lives. Hmm. Like, I know that. Um, it's interesting. I know like the things that I gravitate towards, mm -hmm. like when it's naturally, I like navy blue. It's kind of like the color that I, oh, look, I'm wearing navy blue right now. Um, <laughs> they but, were kind of messy. <clears throat> yeah, there I we noticed. go. <laughs> then when I do like, I like vibrant colors. Um, so like probably whenever I go to look for to buy something, I'm always looking at like a, like a bright orange or a bright green. So those are generally my two go-to colors when I'm looking Absolutely. at things. Hmm. And how do those make you feel? I don't think, um, I guess it's just the, like, I like the, the energy that they seem to give off that it's just, you know, it's, um, instead of just being subdued, it's just kind of, um, it's my dog is choking over there. Uh, it just, um, I don't know. It just makes me feel like, I guess, I don't want to say happy, but I just like the energy that it gives off. Okay. I like that. That's really an interesting way to think about color. Um, how about you, Lynn? Talk to me. Color. Go. <laughs> Color. I, don't know, I guess, I don't know, we're very much, both of us are very much like children of the 80s, I guess. And we, you're more of the, I would say the old, bright, neon 
yeah. 80s and I'm um, more like the typical like navy and pink and green of the 80s uh, back to our old like preppy roots of you mm. know back to the green whale days green blue we- everyone had one of those um, <laughs> <laughs> but I guess you know for for us I guess during the day um, for work I was like you're pretty conservative and it uh, on the on when you come out on the opposite side, yeah. Um, I guess I don't think people realize that you're they're surprised because every day you're in blue, yeah, uh, or shades of blue. And when they see you and you with your bright green jackets or bright orange jackets, I think they're surprised. Yeah, yeah. Um, and for me, it's the opposite. I, you know, every day I go to work in a button down shirt. And when we have the option to wear something else, I'm wearing pinks and purples just to bring in a little color for the day to the mm-hmm. normal, boring, everyday navy shirt. So, yeah, so I can bring in color into something different. So, how does great. that make you feel, that color, bringing that color in? <clears throat> well, I guess for me, yeah. um, it definitely makes us, I think, happier when, mm. honestly, all my, everyone that works for me, they wear forest green. So when I'm wearing something that's like uh, in the pink or purple, mm. it's just totally different. And I, like for me, it makes me happier, more, I don't know, easy. They always say like, my associates always say like, when I come in wearing pink and purple, they always know I'm in a good mood. If I'm coming in and I'm wearing black and my hair's pulled back, they know it's going to be a tough day. So that tells oh. you a little about color, right? Yeah. So it goes with your mood for the day. Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Do you ever shake it up and like wear all black and be like, it's a party? <laughs> no. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah. Color is such a fascinating thing. And to take the time to think about how different color makes you feel. It's a really powerful, a powerful thing. Yeah. Yeah. And it's funny, like until you asked the question, I never really thought about how color would make me feel. It's, I know I gravitate towards certain things, but it's just an interesting way to think of it is that, you know, color is an emotion type of thing. Yeah. Yeah, well, it's an interesting thing being an artist and as the piece behind you shows in this one here, they are loud and proud and bright and vibrant. And um, it's hard for me to put into words to describe art. However, there I do feel like there's an emotional component and mostly I feel like it's tied to um, color that's in it. You know, someone may, okay, these fish are a little psychedelic. They're not officially real fish. But if the overall message for me to send out is just this joyous, expansive feeling, I mean, I don't even know if those are the right words to describe, but, but I just feel like there's power in it. And it's, it's a very interesting thing to ask people to think about or to ask you guys to think. So thank you for the challenge. You, you did it wonderfully. (laughs) Yeah. I know. Now you're going to go through the day and you're going to be like, oh, why is he wearing purple? I wonder yeah. what. That oh. is today. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. And so let's go to color and to the painting behind you. You um, approached me about working on a commission. Um, can you tell a little bit more about the story that you guys were hoping to capture? You want to go? No. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah, so the, the interesting thing is that um, we didn't we knew what we want. All right, I I knew in the back of my mind what I wanted, but I couldn't verbalize like mm. what it is that we were actually looking for. Um, we knew that we wanted a our you know our son and his wife. They kind of um, their special place is like placid. So the picture that we had we had talked to you about, or you know, is doing something in the mountains around there. So this is white face in, um, in the Lake Placid area. And we knew we didn't want a traditional, like you could just do a, a painting of white face as it currently stands. Um, but based off of what we had seen in their house, their house had, um, being that they were in Lake Placid, they had had some pictures from the 1980 Olympics, which were kind of like the marketing materials from that. 
Mm. And similar color themes. And they also, our daughter-in-law is from the Tahoe area. So from the 1960s Olympics, um, similar type of thing. So that was kind of the basis as to like, right, we saw that kind of struck our minds like, oh, all right, so that theme, and we kind of approach you saying, all right, we like the idea of white face, here's some colors that we were thinking of, and you were able to take what we had in the backs of our mind and bring it to life, and my God, did you? Fantastic. Fantastic. Lynn, do you have anything to add to that? No, and I think, um, you know, just that I really like the colors that it, at the end, really like when it ultimately sits in their house, it's just going to be perfect. But when they open it and saw, and saw it at the first glance, you know, Patrick, he just kept walking by and was like, I can stare at this all day. He's like the little colors of um, what brings out. So um, it's just, you know, just from beginning to end, picking out the colors of just the different grades, the way it finally laid out is just, it came out awesome. Like beyond what we expected, I guess. Right. Yeah. Yeah. We appreciated the the fact that we ca- you kind of presented us with a variety of color p- palettes to work with. Mm-hmm. And I think we took bits and pieces from each of the color palettes and kind of settled on what we see behind us. It right. was, you know, you presented the different color options for the sky and different color options for the mountains themselves. And it all just came together so beautifully. Yeah. Fantastic. And how was it? Uh- audience, you should know that in that painting, I hid their initials. So it's a little kind of treasure for them to find. How did that go when you told them that they were in there? Yeah, we, we had to give them a little hint. Yeah. Because, they were kind of <laughs> what, because you had told us where to look. Yeah. Um, once they, it's funny, it's kind of like playing Where's Waldo. Once you see Waldo, you know exactly where to look. Right. So sure. we knew where to look. And um, once they saw it, they could, they, they understood, but they, they definitely appreciate it. Plus the, you personalize it on the back as well with a story to them. So, which is, you know, again, just goes back to one, who you are mm-hmm. and that this is a unique painting just for them. Right. And I think because we actually gave them one of your earlier works um, when you were doing the photography, right? right. photography mm-hmm. with the hidden verbiage. So they, as soon as I, we said, Oh, um, it has hidden, they knew exactly They're like, oh, this is your artist friend who <laughs> you were like, yes, but now she, you know, so now, now, now you're there. So now friend. they're really a collector because they have three pieces. Yeah, I think they have three, they, pieces, they have three pieces. Fabulous. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I haven't really thought of that. Yeah, uh, we went to one of your earlier shows. And, correct. Um, That's they, right. They that is the very first there. one. Yeah. yeah. And just picked mm-hmm. up a print and then, um, we had one, got one right before their wedding, yep. and now this one. So they truly are a collector. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> you are. You just keep giving them away. Yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Next time, just hold. Hold steady. Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's really fun. That's I'm, I'm so glad. What a neat connection um, to have that they were like, oh, you know, I know that there are hidden things in there. That's It's something that I, I feel like gives just another level of um, meaning, frankly, to the art. Yeah. So, I'm so glad. And I, I'm, I am appreciative that you still have it and we have it in this video, but I'm excited to hear about their process as they, you know, hang it up on the wall and, you know, really get a chance to live with it. Yeah. yeah. And so interestingly, our daughter-in-law just reached out Twice. to us. Yeah. And she's like, <laughs> um, you know, just making sure that it didn't get lost in the mail. Type yeah. thing. So oh. the thing is that, that it's because uh, I, you know, not that we didn't think that they would appreciate it, but there was just this, we hoped that they would appreciate it as much as the amount of work that it went into us thinking about it. And then the work that you did put it, putting right. it together. Um, mm-hmm. And it definitely shows where the, their reaction when they opened it. And then also now that we've heard from them a couple of times, like, so yeah, yeah, so they're looking forward to arriving in their yeah. house. 
Okay, perfect. That sounds good. All right. Well, I will I will get the couriers all over that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> get it packaged up ASAP. Fantastic. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so good. So good. Um, I have a couple other questions uh, for you a- about this process. How was it for you two working through since this was your first commissioned experience, you said? Um, wor- like on your side of it, how how did the process feel to you? Did it make sense? Did it feel smooth? Can you tell me about all that? I and I would say because we're obviously we're noobs and we're not, you know, no, honestly, we've never done anything like this. Mm. So we just we had the conversation. We were actually driving home from Vermont, talking about. Um, talking about what you do, we had seen it on a uh, Facebook thing that you had posted when that you were doing and we're like, oh, this would be perfect for for Patrick and his wife. So I simply just sent you a text and then you just like ran with it. But so which was good for us because that's yeah. what we that's what we needed. Mm-hmm. Uh, we gave you the vague idea of like well, we want to do Lake Placid. We want to, we think we want to do White Case. Right. We wasn't even sure if we want to do White Case or do the Lake. Lake. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. And then um, you kind of did your research and sent us like some photos, like, well, I could do this or this to kind of uh, branch which way we want to go. Right. And then so we uh, went the mountainside and then. You were like, would you have any pictures? So I don't even think I sent pictures. No. No. I think you actually came. You actually found some pictures for us, Mm -hmm. which was kind of exactly what we were thinking. Yeah. And what we sent, we had some pictures of their house and inside their house. You could kind of get some ideas as to who, what was, where it was going to be sitting. Oh, yeah. Like their type of personality, too. Right. One of the the exciting parts that I found in the whole process was um, like, almost like an excitement when you would be posting, like as you were going through the process and you were painting it, you'd be sharing it on Instagram and things like that. Mm-hmm. So, like knowing that it was the work that you were working on for us, it was just kind of like this excitement, like, Oh my God, <laughs> she's showing like the world, like as it's working. So mm-hmm. I just, I appreciated seeing it as it was kind of unfolding. Right. And our kids, once we, uh, once they unwrapped it and we showed them and stuff, I went back and I was like, Oh, do you want to see how it was created? I was like, you know, we went on to your Instagram mm. and pulled up all like the ones that had to do with that picture. And we we're like, this is how it started. And they found it really cool just seeing like the original like pencil lines and then the, you know, you put it in the sky and then the different stuff, which they also found cool yeah, you know, you did so, like to a, go back and to see them all. And you did like a time lapse one where Correct. you were like going so fast that <laughs> that was you know, really cool to just see it, you know. <laughs> come together yeah yeah i paint that fast that's actually real time (laughs) (laughs) the video would be like nine hours long and i'd be like there's a treat (laughs) (laughs) yeah i think that's a really interesting thing um to have technology as part of the process where I was able to send you guys videos that were just for you with you know my words and explanation but then also to document it um, for the world to see, but then also for them to then be able to have the opportunity to experience part of the process. It's not just, here's this painting, ta-da, but it was nothing. We thought of you, we wanted something for you. We worked to figure out what this would be to fit in this particular space with these colors that we felt like would connect to these other things that you have. Hi, puppy. <laughs> <laughs> So, so it's a really, I, I just think the technology is really an interesting part of it, especially for an artist who works. So, um, you know, I'm working with my hands with paint. So are you guys still there? Hello? Well, uh, I'm not sure if they are still here. Uh, I'll wait a minute to see if they pop back in. One participant. No, they must have fallen out. 
Eek. Oh, well, I'm going to... I'm going to send them a text, see if they can come back in. Are you okay? <laughs> um, yeah, I'm having a lovely time talking with them, and I do hope that they pop back in. I may have to edit back in let's see if i do volume no i am pretty loud let's see who the participants are oh shit <laughs> Ta-da! the funny thing is we're talking about technology and then technology <laughs> crops out on us not a problem that i may edit out because all it is to me and i'm like uh-oh what's this button <laughs> What do I push? Can they still hear me? Do I keep talking? Well, and we were trying to get back in and there, we had to enter in the passcode. So I had to like three times look at the passcode to remember oh, the no. passcode. <laughs> <laughs> well, welcome back. Welcome back. Yes. Yeah, so technology can be a blessing and it can be a good. <laughs> right, in fact, right. for people who are watching this still, this is the second time that this lovely couple, oh, sweet. No, no, no. I love it offered yeah. to support me and my art practice by being interviewed because we had an amazing interview and then um, somehow it didn't record. Um, so here we are again. So ta-da, <laughs> welcome to like real life, I guess. <laughs> Take three. Well, what I think is great about it is you think about like the technology side of it is that yes, we live relatively close but because of COVID and things like that, it wasn't necessarily natural for us to be able to get together during this process. So yeah. we were able to use, you know, FaceTime and things like that to, you know, just kind of see the process go through. So I think it works out well for, you know, potential clients for you that might not be close by that they can still connect with you. It's totally, totally true. It makes it a very different experience where you are here with me technically. Right. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, um, who do you think would be a good potential client to start to have a commission experience with me? Who would you recommend? Yeah, it's a good question. Like we said that we're kind of novices, um, but having looked at some of your work, having looked at kind of the process that you've gone through with others, I don't see that there being, I can see somebody like us who's kind of new to the whole process or an existing collector who's more knowledgeable and can kind of direct you more. I think that, I think it will work out on either side. Okay. That that's fantastic. And would you recommend people experience this making a commission with me? Oh yeah, definitely. Oh, of course. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. This has been a great experience. Our dog just saw a squirrel, <laughs> literally. <laughs> um, yeah, it, it, you know, like I, we would definitely recommend, you know, it's been a great process. Um, you know, we love the the final product itself. Our The reaction that we got from our our son and his, his wife was exactly what we were hoping for. So, you know, from the beginning to the end, it was, the, the experience was great. And we would definitely recommend, you know, somebody to be working with you. Okay. Do you have any advice that you would offer to them? Um, not necessarily like, you know, we had some vague ideas. So, but I think that part of what we benefited from is not being too rigid, I guess. And, you know, taking the, the ideas that you gave to us, um, you know, in using that information, I'm going to go let our dog out right yeah. now. So <laughs> certainly, <let's> certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> is there a squirrel? Yeah, the squirrel is mocking him. So now they're outside. That's crazy. Oh, so funny. That's so funny. <laughs> Those poor squirrels. Yeah, poor yeah. he was gonna she was gonna go through the window if we didn't open the window. <laughs> Not a problem at all because uh, this is real life and these are real people and this is really happening right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, this has been fantastic to hear from you guys about the process of working with me on a commission and how you made this choice to um, have an experience that you've never had before with me to make something so meaningful for your son and daughter-in-law. And I really appreciate the opportunity to have worked with you on it because I feel like through the process, I got to know you guys better. I got to know your son and daughter-in-law a little bit more. And that's a really, that's a really great benefit on my part of it. Yeah. And you know, like when you kind of think about it is it's art, but it's an investment. Um, So, you know, definitely think that we, Versus just going and buying another gift type of thing. Right. This is this is something that's truly personal. Mm-hmm. And it, it, you know, it's unique. And so I feel like in the fact that they've already asked us like twice right. to be like, so can you get lost <laughs> in the mail? And then they're like, do you know when it's going to come down? I think that just, you know, which is awesome that they... You know, they're they're looking looking forward forward to it. And also, you know, like for them, this um, is kind of like, this is like their future. So I think that gives them, that's what they ultimately want to be. So Mm -hmm. it gives them um, something to look forward to. Right. Right. Um, When, you know, if one's not around or whatever. So, which is cool. That's a beautiful thing. So they, because they want to eventually live up there right now, they don't live exactly. there. Is that what you're yeah, saying? They, right. they live in, they live in Virginia right, right. now, but okay. ultimately their goal is to kind of move towards the Adirondack Correct. region. So this is yeah. kind of brings them closer to their, to that ultimate, to goal. Their ultimate goal. And that's where they, that's where they, um, that's where they met. That's where they met. That's where their first date was. Yeah. So yeah, kind of bring it, it brings circle. it back full circle. That's so beautiful. Okay, I have chills. That's lovely. That's so lovely. (laughs) (laughs) So good. I mean, seriously, what a job I have. I'm like, here's some love on your wall. Yay. Right. (laughs) I love it. I love it. Um, I'm wondering, while we have you here and this whole viewing audience available, is there a cause that you guys would like to give a shout out to? Yeah, so I think for us, one of the probably like the charity or the organization that we feel closest Close to. to or yeah. yeah. It's called it's the, Trevor the Trevor Project, Project, which is, um, it's an organization for, um, it's for LGBTQ youth and it's crisis intervention and suicide prevention because, you know, they're such a, it's such a stressful time for, for youth that are kind of coming, coming out. Um, so it gives them a, a safe place to, if they need um, some support. Some support. Right. beyond their families that's fantastic and can people find them on the internet trevor Project? Yes. oh yeah, yeah. so yeah. trevorproject.org okay. .org. okay fantastic thank you and do either of you have a business or um, website you'd like to give a little credit to right now for yourselves no no i think that <laughs> you know no. like we're we both obviously work for companies and things like that but we're not yeah. looking to monetize for them so you know we appreciate the opportunity yeah. you're we we'll give all shoot all our love to the trevor project and um locally in rhode island there's um called thunder, thunder Mist, Mist. yeah um which is very similar um mm-hmm. but it's um right for um rhode island youth um it's a crisis center for lgbtq Thank you. That's that's a really definitely worthwhile thing to be able to share and to highlight. And I appreciate that you're willing to share and that everyone now has an opportunity to look into it that feels like that's important. I thank Great. you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything else you'd like to add? I don't think so. No, I think this I is a good day. This is a you know, I you had mentioned that this is the second time. And the interesting thing is that it was kind of when you had asked us, it seems overwhelming to like the idea to be interviewed. Mm. Um, it's one, you know, it's natural to talk to you, but also the benefit of 18 months of working from home and doing, you know, teams meetings and things like that. <laughs> it just doesn't seem to be as daunting as like, all right, this is, you know, like this is what I've just gotten used to doing now. Fair enough. Fair enough. You did stand up to let the dog out and I did see you're wearing pants. So thank you for that. Nina. <laughs> yes. yes this is, uh, not pajama it, pants. Not to be. Right. Exactly. Yeah. It's not no pants Friday. 
Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> yeah. The pants. <laughs> Oh, well, this has been a real pleasure. Thank you both for taking the time and giving me the opportunity for other people to hear how the process is to work with me on a commission and to learn a little bit more about you two. So thank you so much, you two. No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. And thank you everyone for joining in and watching to the end of the video. I appreciate it. We're happy that you're here. Have a great day. Bye.